Hello everyone, it is Rob the Replicator here again with How to Crowdfund Your Comics Part 5. We are smashing through these. All right. Rewards. Show pictures of what people get. It's really quite simple. Uh, I think it's the only way to do it. I don't think there is any other way to do it that looks anywhere near as good as this. Uh, so this is my example from Replicator 3. There are plenty of other ones where people have done the same or similar things. I think it's the best. You need to show people what they're getting. You don't even need to read this part here. It says Replicator, all three issues. We'll touch on that in a second because it shows you what you're getting in the image. Some people don't have images, which is absolutely insane. Some people just have like a picture from the comic book slightly better than no picture at all this this is the way this is the way do it like this make sure it looks good too this looks pretty good right pretty clear pretty exciting do this but with yours and do it the way you want to do it but yeah do it that way uh rewards named what they are really simple uh replicator all three issues I, like how do how can i make that any more clear as to what you get right we've talked about it above it's replicator th three i've said one and two are also available replicator all three issues that's pretty self-explanatory that doesn't require much thought um i'm gonna go back to eric's for a second here see that's confusing to me AA, so I can I can figure it out. Arc Athena Zero Issue Two Standard Edition Plus Letter Plus what's this? Limited Edition Plus uh, Artist Edition Bottle. So I figured it out. I can figure it out. I'm I'm a smart guy. I I prefer it really simple though, really simple. And as you can see, he's done that that thing with the the images as well so i mean once again don't need to read this because i can see what i'm getting that is the way to go people all right let's scroll down less than 10 rewards yeah this is crazy i've seen campaigns that have had legitimately 30 rewards 30 rewards right think about that for a second how the hell are you going to know what you want to buy how long until you go, this is too confusing, can't be fucked, I'm out. Pretty quick. Some people get away with it. I don't want to say get away with it. Some people do it and it works for them. Uh, I would not do it under any circumstances for me. And I, I would recommend, unless you have a specific reason to do it that way, I would not do it that way. I would recommend less than 10. And it, even that is is on the high end. Um too ready. Uh, I've said it here. Too many rewards makes it confusing. Confusing people. Uh, confusing means people won't buy something. Uh, this is this is this is important, and it, it's something that maybe you guys are very well aware of. Maybe it was my naivety. I've been broke before. I'm sure all of you have too at some point. Money is not equal to all people. It is completely different from person to person. Some people have very little, like, like me in the past, and I'm sure you have as well. Some people have a lot of money, right? You need to cater to everyone. You need to have something where people can get in at the very basic level, and you need to have something for people that have a lot of disposable income. Um, the only thing you need to really consider is that it's good value for everyone. Like you can't just go, oh, this rewards ten thousand dollars because, because, right? Like it needs to be ten thousand dollars worth of reward. So that is something to to really consider. Some people like collecting original art. Some people like getting everything. Um, you just you need to cater for all these people because. That's what we're here for. We're here to make money so we can make more more comic books, better comic books more often, right? So don't assume 
people don't have money or have too much money or whatever it is. Don't make assumptions. Just cater for everyone, okay? Keep reward levels low and change it if they sell out. Wow, I haven't looked at this one for a long time. Ooh, don't know how I feel about this one so much anymore. Uh, keep reward levels low and change if they sell out. Example, 0, 0.25, 0, 0.50. The smaller numbers you are, the demand will be high. Um, the logic's there, right? If it's limited, it means there's more demand for it. So it's kind of like how Malin does his, his 60 days no in demand, right? If you don't get it during that time, you're not getting it. Same thing here. If you don't get it within the first 50 backers, you're not getting it. That's fine. I don't know about changing the whole reward. Um, so just bear that in mind. I don't know where I stand with that anymore. I, I mean, the idea makes sense. I don't know how it, how I'd feel doing that to backers. Like you wouldn't just do it again. Like you wouldn't do the same reward again, but you might do something a bit different. But even then, I, I, a little bit on it's one of those question marks that I might have to ask the chat about. Oh, this is really important. Plan out your stretch goals and work them out price wise. Stretch goals will murder you. Um, it, it's really easy. I've, I swear this happens to me every campaign. I get caught up in the magic of crowdfunding. You want to give people everything, everything costs money. You need to work out what your stretch goals are going to be and price them out based on how much they'll cost you to fulfill. For example, right? I have a thousand, if I have a thousand backers, I decide to give everyone a print. Doesn't sound crazy, right? That's not a print, it's nothing. A thousand color prints will cost a thousand dollars. A thousand bl black and white prints will cost me two hundred dollars. There's a massive difference. So you know, you're like, that's not a big deal. It's only one print. Yeah, but what happens if it's two or three or four prints? You know, these things add up and then you're chasing yourself and all that profit you've made disappears. And again, comes back to you want to make money so you can make more comics and better comics. That's how it is. Like money, money is the thing here. Uh, it, you know, you want to make comic books because you you love making comic books. You need to make money to do it. it it's so it's so weird. I always feel weird talking about that because it's it's something that was so frowned upon in Kickstarter. Like you had to account for every cent and you had to charge it to this because that's what the big two do, right? It's okay to make money. It's okay to make money. Um, one thing you want to do is you want to consider when you're going to add the stretch goals. I, I'm not I'm not 100% locked in on how it's meant to be done yet. Um, I did it day one, like they were ready to go day one. In hindsight, wasn't great for me because we blew through four stretch goals on the first day, right? First world problems, yeah, I know. Uh, fantastic for me overall, um, but the stretch goals... They're meant to be there to help you get more backers to to get to the next thing. So some people wait a week, some people wait a day. That's something you're going to need to consider yourself, all right? So I, I, there is no right or wrong way to do it yet. Maybe there will be in the future. I'll, I'll come up with something. Um, but, yeah, just... You, you, you need to think about that. You need to think about when you're going to implement it and when you're going to when you're going to bring them in. So yeah, that is something to consider. Uh, stretch goals. Yep. Okay. Let's have a look here. So these these are how I did the stretch goals on my campaign. I quite like the visual element of them. Uh, so when we hit 4K, we unlocked this print, as you can see here. When we hit 8K, we unlocked this print, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, and I just I had a I had a listed in in rounds. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Uh, I like the idea. I'm not sold that it's the best way to do it. I think yeah, as I said. 
that best way to do it hasn't been found yet or I haven't seen it. Maybe someone has it and I'm just unaware of it. I'll be interested to know though. Um, we're going to wrap that one up there and then we're going to look at the data. And this is this is like the nitty gritty of things that, again, people don't look at for some reason. I find absolutely confusing. Uh, but that's it. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one, part six. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye.